Panette, a marathon gas station on Grand River near Telegraph. Video here shows the suspect pull up to the station, get out of his car, and aim at a man pumping gas. Police say. Hey, hey, we be popping up on niggas. We ain't even finna play. Catch him at the gas station, chase him down like he's eight. Hey, hey, we be popping up on niggas. We ain't even finna play. Catch him at the gas station, chase him down like he's eight. Murderville Zay was shot and killed at the marathon gas station on Grand River and Telegraph. Zay was with a female passenger who also wounded during the shooting but survived. Many believe the female he was with the one who gave up his drop. Zay death was a huge loss for MV and a lot of his ops started dissing him after his death instantly. The video of the shooting started surfacing on social media and went viral on YouTube with nearly 2 million views. Nobody was ever charged with his murder. 17 year old boy shot and killed and a 17 and 19 year old also in the hospital after being shot. I'm going to get out of the way. We're going to walk up to this fence line here and show you what Detroit investigators are looking at right now. They are searching for more evidence just outside of the Glen Cove apartments here. Murder gang 72 Lil Tez, June 30, 2022. 72 Lil Tez was shot and killed around 3 a.m. midnight while inside the Glen Cove apartments on the west side. 7-2 Lil Tez was a well-respected member of Murder Gang. His best friend, Trav, MG, and another team were also wounded during the shooting but survived. 7-2 Lil Tez was known for beefing and dissed numerous deceased members of Murderville, Cell Gang, Avon Block when he was alive. His eyes started dissing him and making songs after his death. Nobody was ever caught charged with his death. In a paragraph, and he just asked me how to pronounce two words, and he was one and a half. So at that moment, I knew my son was special. Palmer says she had a bad feeling when a new group of kids moved into the neighborhood and started picking fights with her son's friends. But Julian didn't want her worrying. And what my son never wanted to do was look me in my eyes and tell me his life was in danger. Cell gang Juju, police received a call of a teen laying in a driveway on Wickham Street, and they got there. They rushed him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead of multiple gunshot wounds. According to his mother, he was a student athlete who had good grades and was trying to go to college. Multiple people associated with Cell Gang confirmed that Juju wasn't a gang member and that he was just a friend because he grew up around them. Whether it's true or not, Juju still suffered the consequences of being a part of Cell Gang. This just goes to show no matter how deep you in the streets, you can still become a victim from being associated. People were dissing Juju after his death, and his name even still got mentioned to this day. Not Will at all. The mother of 17-year-old Zachary Willis is still beside herself after he was gunned down in front of her house on December 19th of last year on the 10,300 block of Elmira. Willis allegedly lured out of the family home on Detroit's west side by his girlfriend before another teen shot him multiple times. But my son didn't deserve anything like that he didn't deserve it from that the young lady murder gang Lil Zach on December 19 2022 Lil Zach was shot and killed in front of his home on Elmira Street Lil Zach was allegedly set up by a female he was dealing with according to his mother she allegedly brought his killers over to the home where he was killed Zach and Quan were going back and forth in the DMs not long before he was killed Zach said Mar and multiple other uh, 1125 members in the DM Quan 1125 went on Instagram on the day that Zach passed and made a song statements uh, claiming they were the ones responsible. The team from 1125 was later arrested and charged with the murder. This case arises out of the shooting of Jermaine Jones, the victim. Defendant and the victim were friends, but experienced a falling out and stopped hanging out for a period of time in 2018. However, defendant and the victim were seen together on the day Javari Bates was involved in a fight, arrested in jail. The victim began to raise money to build Bates out of jail. On October 18, 2018, the victim's mother overheard him speaking to Brianna Gorey. The victim told his mother that he was going to Gorey's home to obtain bail money for base. Defendant arrived at their home to pick up the victim and defendant asked to use the restroom. The victim's mother saw the victim leave with defendant Juan. Defendant and the victim entered a sport utility vehicle driven by Isaiah Boglin. Defendant obtained the ride from Boglin by promising him gas money. Sisters Maya Watson and Shyla Ashley, as well as Watson's boyfriend, Jalen Trapp, were also present in the vehicle. When they arrived at the home, the victim got out of the vehicle and spoke to Gory on the porch. The defendant also got out of the vehicle and whispered to Trapp. The victim received $100 from Gory. As the victim and Gory spoke, the defendant stood a couple steps away from the porch, but then returned to the vehicle. When the victim attempted to get back into the vehicle, defendant made a hand gesture to the driver to move forward. 
The vehicle moved forward and turned the corner such that it was no longer visible from Gory's home. The victim told the defendant to stop playing. The defendant was overheard saying, give me. He also said, I didn't want it to go this way, bro. Trap got out of the vehicle and shot the victim multiple times. A neighbor heard three shots and then they paused. Defendants then purportedly told Trap to finish him and Trap fired again. The neighbor heard an additional three or four shots. At the time, defendant took the victim's retro Jordan shoes. Additionally, defendant and Trap had money when they got back to the vehicle. Defendant laughed when he got in the vehicle with the shoes and said something to the effect of, I told him to sell me these. Defendant and Trap split the money and Bogman received money for gas. The vehicle drove away. The victim was shot nine times and left face down and shoeless in the street. Defendant contends that the prosecution did not present sufficient evidence to the jury to convict defendant of first degree murder premise on aiding the betting theory. We disagree. I'm going to be honest with you. They didn't really prove it. That's a crazy way to do it, but I guess so. Contrary to the defendant's assertion, there was sufficient circumstantial evidence and reasonable inferences that defendant perform acts to assist in the commission of premeditated murder and intended the commission. Defendant told the vehicle occupants that the victim needed a ride to pick up bail money and promised boggling gas money to drive him. Damn, you Randall from recess, you tell a lie. I'm like the Weight Watchers, I use my scale a lot. Stop window shopping one packs, you gon' be a seller or not. You ain't never seen no bullets at them or trailer out. My bitch remind me of RJ, she always trip. They get into it with us to turn the salsa chips, they always dip. It. Yeah, we could do the same shit, but I say it different. My young boy's Jehovah Witness, they be paying visits. Now you a player like you say you was for that pussy you paying pimpin'. Everything I put out so raw, you just can't sniff. I got the best O line, even on goal line, you can't bliss it. You not a hustler, you keep getting in front of, you just can't flip it. You ain't really got it, you P Diddy, you be remixing. Oh, where just got a new Glock, <laughs> that's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac know what's up, we know on the mill ticket. They probably feel your music a little more if you real with it. I get that sniff sniff and put my heel in. You have PlayStation party meetings, I'm about real big. I'm a SCD, I'm here, you don't like it, gotta deal with it.